Any idea who that guy could have been, Mr. Lao Long? Who knows? The fact that he has a grave beast in tow might be a clue to answering it. You don't think he's the Collector's? Shh, careful! You shouldn't say her name out loud! That witch conquered this stage without any resistance. If she got wind of this... Well... Let's just say Calamity would be the least of our worries. Uh, hey, are you two here for the beginner's course? Is this the right spot? <laughs> Me? I'm in the same boat. The name's Soigen Riku. I mean, you guys are trainees, right? I'm looking forward to working with you, you know, seeing as we're all newbies here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait up. I know you. Uh, Soigen. You're Soigen. Jeez, man, why didn't you say anything? You're that destitute student who works all the time and has no social life. Thanks. Incredible. I never imagined I'd run into you in Grave Buster. Luck, I guess. <laughs> nice to, um, who are you? Oh, come on. You know me, Shaw. Sure. You and I are in the same class together. Though I totally see why you'd forget. You are always sleeping in there, after all. <laughs> Kidding aside, you didn't forget your student council president, right? No, Shaw! Sure. Student council president! Good to see you again! Hey, why don't you two save the gab fest for your own time? Uh, uh, no hard feelings. How about you and I break the ice here, stranger? After all, the three of us will be working together as a team. I'd rather not. Uh, <sighs> You must be the new trainees, Titan. <laughs> Are you Shaw? Uh, yes, ma'am! You must be Soigen Riku. Yep, that's me. I'll be serving as your instructor for the beginner's course today. You may call me Rin. <laughs> The lesson takes place here and involves an actual battle. What you see are the remnants of a looted tomb. Hundreds of years ago, grave robbers defeated the resident boss, took the treasure and left it a desolate valley. Warriors dreamt of this place. Now, only a wasteland remains. What are those things? You must mean the tunnel apes. Welcome to your first challenge of the day. <laughs> they may not look like much, but they're surprisingly fast and vicious. So then we just have to defeat them all? Sounds easy, huh? Working together, we can take them without any problem. Right, guys? Can we start this mission, or are we just gonna talk them to death? <laughs> Funny. Do you think they're waiting on me to say go? <laughs> When each of you join the game, you received a unique weapon. This is your buster item. You need to break them out if you want to pass this challenge. You talking about my storm eye here? I've got my metal fist. Whoa, those are awesome. What are you waiting for, Soigen? Let's oh. see your buster item. I've got one, only... I really wouldn't call it special or anything. Attack! <laughs> Good question. Now what? There's no chance we're going to break through their armor this way. New plan. We need to defeat the Elder. The what? That three-eyed giant, 12 o'clock. The Grand Tunnel Ape, leader over the Horde. As long as he's around, the enemy's defenses are raised. Which means we gotta take him out first. No sweat. Right, team? Just did. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. 
Well, that didn't go the way I expected it to, but hey, these chunks can still produce change. First things first, I'll cut through these eights with a triple combo! And then to level up! Oh, she's so beautiful. That woman is no mere teacher. She's an idol you'd see once a millennium! I am your humble servant, Princess Ray! Serving under your foot till my dying breath! My heartbeat feels like it's going a million miles an hour! Oh god, what a total rush! Soon? Here. Shah? Hmm? Anyone see Shah today? Well, uh, now that you mention it... I guess he's absent. I didn't even notice he was missing. Yeah, he doesn't exactly stand out. Whew. That proved quite the haul. <laughs> So I'm guessing that concludes the beginner's course, right? What? Already? We just got started. Come on, don't you want to order me around anymore, Princess Rin? Actually, things aren't wrapped up here quite yet. There is one final objective left before you complete this stage. The three of you versus me. If you want to move on, then you have to win! Seaweed, go! <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Based off your reflexive reactions, I was able to measure the extent of your abilities. ID Titan. You managed to quickly summon a familiar without even using your buster item. A cautious choice based off your assumption my kunai might have carried some additional effect. Too cautious, though. In the end, it was merely a physical attack. Huh. You have a familiar? Crap, Titan, just how much money did you sink into this game? I've invested about 500,000 myself, but there's no way I could afford a familiar. Wait, I'm guessing you must have defeated some high-level monsters and been saving for a while now. Since you're always working, it must be difficult spending time on a game, right, Soygen? Huh? But don't worry, my family's rich, so I'll pour even more money into the game and protect you. And afterwards, <laughs> we can team up. What do you say, partners? Shut up! Yes, ma'am! ID Shaw. I suggest you remove that kunai from your forehead. Hold on. A kunai? In my head? Oh. Ah! There's a kunai in my forehead! Get it out! Stop screaming! Here I thought you were eager to follow my every order. I am, but removing it sounds super painful! Stop wasting time! Right away! Anything for you is... Shaw! There's no need to worry. Uh. That wound is barely more than a scratch. He's overreacting, big surprise. <sighs> now then, as for you, Soygen, if you underestimate me again, you'll end up getting hurt. What, me? I would never underestimate you. <clears throat> for real, I swear I wouldn't. I can see right through you. I must say, that item is rather unique. Is that her ability? Seeing what other players have equipped? Enough delaying! Show me your buster item right now, Soygen! Nah, it's not a big deal, really. Nothing to get excited over. I'm not buying into your humble act. <laughs> That's one way to get my attention! My apologies, but I do hate wasting my time. Hey, you were the one who told us that we need to defeat you before we can pass this starter course. Well, Instructor Ren, I intend to. I guess I did say that, didn't I? Fine, then. Why don't we conclude your first lesson, Trainee Titan, whenever you're ready. That's strange. I seem to have misplaced my textbook. I hope that won't be a problem. I'm afraid it is. You see, I don't get paid for overtime. I've definitely seen those maneuvers before. <gasps> I remember! He entered the three biggest virtual fighting game tournaments and won each of them back to back three years in a row! I can't believe it's actually him! He's THE Titan, the legendary gamer! Wait, he's a virtual fighting champion? You bet! He wrecks everyone with his incredible power, speed, and technique! The undefeated Crusher Titan! Not a doubt in my mind! But for some reason, he didn't enter the tournament this year. Not only that, look all over the internet, you won't find any history on him. Young master, in honor of your victory, your father has sent you a congratulatory present. Please accept this reward. Uh, father? What's this? 
It's Grave Buster. This will be our new goal. Uh, but that wasn't the deal! You wanted to make me proud, right? Or am I mistaken? <laughs> no, you're correct. Why isn't the rest of my team helping me? I could have sworn someone said we're all in this together! We can't get to the next stage unless you help me defeat her! Don't take me lightly! Even if there were ten more of you, I could win this in my sleep! <laughs> After all these long, fruitless years of searching, finally, I found my one true love, and now I have to defeat her? Oh, fate is so cruel! I can't get the girl in real life or the game! You know what? Screw this reality! There's no way I can fight her! Then again, if I defeated her, it'll prove I'm loyal, since she did order me to take her down. Yes, I will fight for you! And then Rin and I will view the Terracotta army hand in hand! Shaw, you okay? Never better! Come, Soigen! To the battlefield, where I'll profess my love to her! Your warrior is coming, oh, my sweet. goodness. Ravenscar, go! Zero one. First blood. Engage. Oh shoot! This skill allows you to learn the ability of the first combatant that's defeated in battle. Seeing how no one's actually fallen yet, maybe I should have waited before summoning it. Over here, Soigen. Uh, Behold the power of love. Try and keep your eye on my store, my special ability, if you can. Here, one minute and gone the next. He vanished. Nope. Guess again. I'm right beside you. Uh, huh? Wait, you're transparent. Yeah, and just wait until you hear my brilliant idea. I have the special ability to become one with the wind, which means I can get close to Rin and whisper my email address into her ear. If you'll excuse me, I've got a date with destiny. Princess Rin, you've given me wings to soar. This is Shaw, headed your way. Oh, I'm sure she can hear you coming. Do me a favor and just die. Oh, crap. Now, seaweed. Go find out how many hit points she has left on her. Beginning stat analysis. Remaining HP is at 15%, or more precisely. Oh, so you're a pervert. I didn't say that you could film me. Think you're pretty funny, huh? It's a real shame. You were so strong, too. <laughs> Unfortunately, ID Titan, I'm afraid I can't allow you to pass the beginner's course. All right, Princess Rin. Here I come. Please accept my email request! And you're out. No, Shaw! I'm sorry. I failed you guys. But then again, it's not exactly a surprise someone without any talent or strength wasn't meant to play Grave Buster, right? That isn't true. I know if you keep trying, you'll get there. You think one day I could be on the same level as you guys? Strong as you, Titan, or Rin? Yeah, I guarantee it. Thanks. That means a lot to me, Soigen. And maybe after I grow stronger, Princess Rin will let me become her line friend, too. I do have one regret. What is it? It's just... in the end... I was kind of hoping to use Rin's lap as a pillow. I understand. This fight is over. Continuing is pointless. Huh? I mean, come on, Titan. Neither of us can defeat her. You're giving up? It's not that. She's invincible. Feeling any better, Shaw, sweetie? I have warm soup waiting for you outside the door if you want any to eat. Aren't you feeling hungry? Great news, Mom! Look here! I just made a new friend online! What are you talking about? Did your cold get even worse? I'm fine! In fact, I've never felt better in my entire life than at this very moment! The guy's poor, not like me, so he's working all the time. He also goes to the same school and sleeps in class all the time, but he's really good at games. The only one who's invincible here is me! <laughs> or did you somehow forget that I'm an undefeated champ? No way in hell I can let you go beyond this stage. Give it a rest. You haven't even seen my full routine yet. Let's see. Given the strength of the signal, they should be somewhere around here. Hey, that looks promising. I admit you're a perfectly qualified fighter, but behind all that skill and ambition, I sense something poisonous lurking in your heart. I can't in good conscience let you through, because I feel something awful would happen. 
My only choice is to prevent you from continuing further in the game. So you're Instructor Rin. <laughs> if this counts as defeating you, then I pass, right? Cool. Soigen! But how'd you figure it out? What, you mean your Shadow Clone? It was when you stabbed Shaw, right in the heart. There was no way you would have that much accuracy with peripheral vision alone. Which meant you had a vantage point from another angle. Or even a different location. Yeah, yeah. What, you want a prize? There's no way. It was an illusion? I was wasting my time on this thing? Damn it! I'm the three-time virtual fighting world champion. And all along I was boxing with a shadow? Prove you're not a disappointment, that you're the best in the world, and worthy of my praise. What are you staring at? A decoy mirage? Pretty clever, I gotta admit. It allows the user to project their image and even alter it some if they want to. <laughs> to think the instructor's identity was a mere child. Beginner's course now completed. Welcome to the world of Grave Buster. Those who pass the trainee level now have the ability to use the ally card. Okay, what's this ally card do? What do you think? If two players possess one, you can use your sea base to read each other's info and have the option to create a party. So the short version is we can form teams now. You're getting ahead of yourself. It's about time that you were honest with me. <laughs> I have a hard time believing you're a novice. Maybe when the time's right. Oh, it's right. Cause I want to know too. <laughs> Just how strong are you, Soigen? Ah! You want Titan? The level's over. <laughs> You're wrong. It's not over until all opponents are defeated. Ah! This is exactly where I didn't want him in the game. That's enough, Titan. <laughs> I'm gonna clear this tutorial 100%. And that includes you, Soigen! Let's go! He's gone insane! <sighs> okay. <sighs> I think we should be able to buy some time in here. Pretty impressive. Uh, Looks like you didn't take any damage. Not a scratch. <sighs> you alright? Call me Farin. So, Farin, why weren't you fighting back? Because of my decoy mirage. It takes some time to recharge after using it. You want to tell me why you went out of your way to save me? I want you and I to form a party. No offense, but you're not exactly my type, Soigen. <laughs> hey, who's the girl master? Yeah! <laughs> Twin Star! Uh, I'm a little busy. With what? You cleared the stage. Everything's wrapped up, so there's no reason to stay. You don't expect me to leave her here with Titan? Oh, you're so chivalrous when it comes to young ladies, uh, man. How about you and I reach an agreement, Farin? If I'm able to defeat Titan for you, you come with me and join my party. You're kidding. Nope, we can pinky swear on it. We have a deal? Time to finish this. You're about to find out who's the strongest one here, and it'll hardly be a competition. Summon First Blood. <laughs> it allows me to wield a technique from the first person to die in a stage. Conjure Man of the Wind. The ability that weirdo was using? <laughs> what good is stealing a technique from someone who lost? You'll see soon enough. I doubt it. It didn't save him and it won't save you! Ugh. Over here, Titan! <laughs> He's even dumber than Shaw. Did he really expect to damage me using such a weak attack? You probably think you've got the upper hand here, but I know where you are. Right there! Titan! Zoygen! Whoa, what the hell? Heads up! Cancel 
old man of the wind since I no longer needed it. So that breeze I was fighting, only a gust of wind. That was nothing more than an illusion you were chasing around. An illusion? Don't play games with me! <laughs> Had enough, Titan? <sighs> Do yourself a favor and surrender already. <laughs> <laughs> you expect me to concede to someone like you? <laughs> Don't you know I'm one of the chosen elite, Soygen? There's nothing I can't do. I couldn't lose even if I was trying to. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a huge round of applause to our winner, the incomparable Titan! Dude takes this game serious, huh? Not only that, based on what I've heard, the guy's dad is super loaded. Have you heard the rumor? They say he may have rigged the entire match. Hey, say that to my face. Come up here and try fighting me, you poor bastards. What did you say to us, rich boy? Who the hell do you think you are? You're all beneath me. Bring it! Let go of me! It's taken care of, young master. I paid those boys three million each to keep their mouths shut. I also had them sign non-disclosure agreements as a safety precaution in case they went to the press. I don't see the point since they started the fight. You're the future of this family and we have to protect you. Yeah, sure, preserve the family legacy. Which means I can't do anything. That's not true. Well, if that's the case, I guess I'll do whatever I want. After all, there's no problem in this world that can't disappear with money. <laughs> the way I see it, this game's no different. I'm rich, so there's no way I can lose! It's changing shape! Behold, the blade of Tybotan. Marvel at the ultimate form of my buster item. Oh, oh perfect. perfect. Ever since we first announced Grave Buster, at present, over 10 million users have started playing. Thanks to the various in-game purchases and high-leveled equipment, the game's popularity is growing faster than we ever expected. A multitude of bosses across several stages have been defeated, and players have started muscling in, taking over levels. And this is the final step of our plan. This is how we get past Zero. Now then, members of Precious, shall we take our leave? In this battle that has raged for a thousand years, Precious has been the predominant figure among the grave robbers. Their leader, a mysterious user known only as Dark Tiger, is a billion player, of which there are only five in existence. This Dark Tiger is accompanied by an echelon of 16 elite members. Their combined assets are rumored to exceed over two billion. Ah, it's good to be home. Good news, Dark Tiger. I'm pleased to report we're ready to conquer Zero. We are at your command and will carry out any order that you see fit. Tell me, how are the preparations for the festival on Stage 18 tomorrow? I've taken the liberty of already emailing the transfer rings to the players. This will ward off and ensure the defeat of weaker elements in the game. However, I fear there is still one cause for concern. Which is? We were certain we had disposed of all the Tomb Guardians. Yet, just a moment ago, the number on the scale increased from Zero to displaying a one instead. Mm -hmm. Which means we gotta worry about some new guardian wandering around. How would you like us to proceed with this anomaly, Dark Tiger? It doesn't matter their identity. Destroy them. All right, Dad. I hope you're watching. I'm strong. Strong and ruthless. I. I'm the chosen one, with more money than I even know what to do with. So how about I spend a hundred million, kill them both in the blink of an eye? Charge complete! You two are about to be roadkill! Here, Farin. What? Are you out of your mind? If he really wants to kill us, he'll have to run me over first. Don't do this, Soigen. I know how you work all the time just to make ends meet. 
Whatever you put in the game, it's no match for him. You damn casual player! You don't belong in this game! You do remember we made a promise. If I defeat Titan, then the two of us could be on a team. <laughs> But how? Even after I charged a hundred million into that last attack! He's a nobody! There's no way this part-time player could have more money! Could be richer than Titan! You beat him like he was nothing! Exactly how much do you have invested in this game, huh? I can't disclose that information, but Titan's assets are zeroed out. Pretty sure he's finished. Poor guy. That's great and all, but I think you're forgetting about what happens next. We're, We're in, in trouble! trouble! The item's gonna detonate! And the more money you spent on it, the bigger the explosion! Hey, do me a favor and get off me. Yeah... So, all that's left is for us to log out, right? If I could reach my sea bait... <laughs> Mine's out of reach as well. Someone will eventually come save us. What do you mean, eventually? How can you be so casual? <laughs> Try anything and they're only gonna find one survivor! <laughs> oh, uh, before we log off, I wanted to know, you have some kind of ability to analyze your opponent's buster item. You used it on me, right? And if I did, what's the big deal? It's not. I just think it's pretty cool. Huh? I know you've got a bunch of other friends far in, but I really would love for you to be on my team. Hold on, this is all moving so quickly. Do me a favor and just think about it. I'll put my address in your sea bay. Let me know what you decide. Sorry, I've got too many people in my address book. That's okay. No big deal. seen a carriage like that. Be careful. I'm detecting an intense amount of pressure coming from inside. <laughs> Hello, darlings. Farin, we did complete the beginner's course, right? There were no tasks left? Uh, yeah. Then what's this doing here? I finally found you. To think of all places, you'd be in a beginner's course flirting with a lolly. Not what I expected, Sorgen Riku. She just called you by your full name. Do you know her? Nope, but I'm curious to find out who she is. Where do you think you're going? Hold on a minute! Sorgen! It's fine. Still, why are you so worried about me all of a sudden? Because she's not an ordinary player. In fact, when I used my probing eye to uncover more info, there wasn't any data. What I do know is someone with a Divine Tomb weapon will give off a flame-like aura. Players should only be able to have one Divine Tomb item each. But, when I look at her, I don't see a player with a single flame. She's got a total of ten surrounding her! I heard there's a sole individual who has this ability. One of the billion players. She's called the Collector! You see a lot, Missy. That's quite an extraordinary gift you possess. She's a billion player? What's someone like that doing here? One downside to having such an ability. Too much knowledge can be dangerous. <laughs> Foreign! What? What did you- No need for concern. The girl will be fine. You turned her into a doll? What do you think happens when people get shot with plushy bullets? It won't cause damage. She will, however, remain unconscious for the next couple of minutes. Just long enough to give the two of us some alone time. The hell is your problem, lady? Well... Ah! I'm glad you accepted my present. I went through a lot of trouble choosing it especially for you. But please be kind. You might not like it at first, but I know in time, it'll grow on you. What did I get shot with? It's stuck on my face. Oh! Uh, what the hell is this thing? And why isn't it letting go of my head? Oh. I would have thought you'd be more appreciative of such a thoughtful gift. I mean, take a look at how anxious the little guy is to become one with you. Become one? Don't tell me it's... Oh! <laughs> Disgusting! It went down my throat! What'd you do to me? 
That little scamp is called a sausage dragon. It's a grave beast with a fondness for entering players' bodies. It's also vital in helping you save the girl, Rei. Rei Riku? Wait, do you know where she is? If so, then you've got to tell me! She's in the hands of the Totem's leader, the one they call Temujin. If you want to save her, I suggest when you two meet, don't believe anything he tells you. Instead, use Temujin. When you find your way into the Totem's headquarters, the Sausage Dragon will give you what you need to save Rei. It'll be our little secret, but don't you forget. The walls here have ears, so be careful. Soigen Riku, no matter what that man says, don't believe a word. Give me one good reason why I should trust what you say. <laughs> it's the beginning of the end. Let's move on, driver. Hey! I wasn't finished talking with you! Tell me where Temujin is! No need for you to worry. Even if you don't know where to look, I guarantee your paths will cross sooner than later. Is that her true power? <laughs> You're awake! You okay, Fari? Are you hurt? Soigen, what just happened? Don't worry, the Collector's gone. Do you have any idea what she was after? While I'm not entirely certain, whoever's watching us might be able to shed some light on it. The real question is how long he's been tracking us. He must be why the Collector said the walls have ears. Hold on. I'm gonna take a closer look at his abilities. I told you not to let them spot you, but do you ever listen to me? No! The boss specifically told you to discreetly monitor them. How do you expect to do that standing in the open like this? No choice now but to kill them. Great idea, Kitakaze! Murder them and then collect intel! There's something very strange about that cube-shaped owl. Don't let your guard down. Whoever he is, he doesn't have a tomb weapon. But his power's the same level as Wild Wolf. <gasps> Possibly even stronger! What? No way! He's... he's one of the totems! Meaning he knows Temujin, not to mention... the place where they're holding Rei Riku. Wait, Sorgen! Don't go! Uh, the reckless idiot is running right towards us! We better make like a tree and get out of here! You're sure I'm not allowed to kill him? If you think so, you're dumber than the kid! Hurry up and move! Hey, hang on! You're not going until you tell me where Ray is! What was that move you just used? You managed to close the distance between us without much difficulty. Remember, Kitakaze, don't lose your cool over a persistent brat like him! You're one of the totems, right? Tell me what you know about Ray Riku. Nothing in my orders state that I have to answer you. Then I'm afraid I can't let you go anywhere until you do! What a fool this one is. Ah! What the? Please, Soigen. Surely you can move faster. I gotta try fighting this guy using some different technique or the battle isn't going to last much longer. Oh. Too slow. Damn it! His speed! Can't escape him! Shaoshima. Ah, uh, yes. I almost forgot about the other nuisance. Why did you. Are you just gonna stand there all day? If you can't win, then hurry up and run away! Now that you've got me worked up, I'm afraid I can't let either of you escape. You're no match for his speed. What was your first hit? This ain't gonna be easy. We're up against a high ranking totem. True. So why'd you even rescue me? Well, uh, because as a member of your team, it wouldn't be right to just stand by and watch you die. Thanks, Farin. You're an official party member now, which means I look out for you, too. Here he comes. Unreal! His attack speed is off the charts! I can't even tell the number of times I've been hit! Damn! If I don't log off, there's no way I'll be able to reset my item's ability! Flash, I think we're almost done here. Given the boss's interest in him, I would have thought he'd be more of a challenge. But no, this is disappointing. I'm bored. Let's get this over with and leave. Oh, what's this number on our hands? Does it have to do with the amount of times we were hit? 
I'm not positive. However, there could be some kind of magical effect tied with it. It's not just for decoration. There's only one way to be sure! You walked right into that, Swiggin. Managed to dodge him. What's going on? The guy didn't even hit me! It's your turn. Gotta time this just right! Now I get it! If you get cut a certain number of times, then the game will force you to log off! You finally figured it out. But it won't do you any good now. <laughs> but I kept his last attack from striking me! <laughs> Dodge all you want, it doesn't make a difference! Disappear. <laughs> <sighs> Damn it. Who was that cheater? That forced logout is gonna keep me from signing in for a full 24 hours. Uh, looks like Farin got the boot same as me. Hey, Farin. You too? Ah, so Farin is the name of your new girlfriend, Soigen Riku. Good to know. Who's this? Better yet, how did you get my name? None of that matters. But listen close and I'll tell you what does. Assuming you are interested in saving this woman. Swiggin! Swiggin, I suggest you give me your full attention. So you're the one who kidnapped Ray Riku. Who the hell is this? If you've heard her, I'm talking to a dead man. Oh, spare me the heroics, would you? If something were to happen to her, how would you stop it? That's the very reason we're keeping an eye on her. Miss Riku required our protection, though she keeps insisting on calling herself a hostage for some reason. Where is she? <laughs> you really want to save her, don't you? Then listen closely. There's a festival being held on stage 18 of Gravebuster. You should attend. It's a celebration for players who've completed every level in the game and a provision for conquering stage zero when the time comes. If you want to beat that level, which I know you do, you'll need to go to the festival. Once there, you'll have to locate a player named Nishikaze. Nishikaze? And how am I supposed to find a player I've never met before? Oh, you'll know when the time comes. Give me a straight answer! What's this got to do with getting Ray back? Say something! Damn. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. He's the mysterious lone wolf who never says a word. The no-charge meister that showed up out of nowhere, defeating enemies with the lowest grade equipment. Game! Maybe I was cool playing in Dungeon Century. I'm utterly useless now. Uh, <laughs> hey, Wanjoy! It feels like forever since I last saw you. <sighs> what are you meowing at so early? Huh, looks like some kind of gathering. Guess there must be a celebrity on campus today. Has anyone told you how cute you are? You should totally join our cosplay club! So what school do you go to? I've never seen you around before! Please date me! Man, that poor girl. Swarmed over by a bunch of creeps won't leave her alone. What social media platforms are you on? Can I get your email address? I'll take anything! I don't have one, alright? What? You gotta be kidding! You're not online! Do you even have a social life? Uh. What are you waiting for, Soigen? Are you just gonna stare all day or come down here and save me? Who's she talking to? It's that nerd Soigen! Protect her honor! <laughs> Don't get any ideas, pervert! Talk about annoying! I should have stayed in bed today. What the heck's going on? Who's that girl and how does she know me? There's no way. But what if it is her? Farin? Okay, it is her. But that doesn't explain why she's at my school. I'm not prepared to deal with this. Plus, why'd she bring a suitcase? Makes me wonder, is she planning on staying at the dorm? Why am I being so awkward? Come on, Soyin, talk to her. What are you thinking about? What? Oh, nothing. Just uh, wondering how you found me, I guess. I work part-time as an instructor for the beginner's course, remember? 
So I was able to get some information on you. Obviously, you aren't happy to see me, so I'll stop wasting your time and go. Huh? No, I'm glad you're here and I get to see you in person. Oh, man. The worst part is every word I just said was true. But now she's here and I have zero idea what to say to her. Come to think of it, compared to reality, I'm a different person in game. Whenever I'm playing, I feel more confident and always know what to say. But real life's a different story. If I was invisible, would anyone notice I was missing? Sometimes it's like I don't even exist. Then you have someone like Farin. Exceptional in the game and real life. Check her out! Talk about my dream girl! I think she's new. A transfer student? At least I got it over with and she knows how lame I really am. Wonder what she's gonna say next. Excuse me, sir! Uh. You've been here an hour and only ordered water. Perhaps it's time you committed to ordering food? You do realize we have other students waiting to be seated. Sometime today be nice. More like any time this week. I'm starving. Over there. Isn't that the poor kid hogging that table and not ordering? <laughs> Give me that menu! May I get one to look at as well? Sure, here you go. Uh, so far in, what are you in the mood to eat? It all looks so delicious! One avocado salad, minestrone soup, the escargot, fried chicken wings, a teriyaki steak, squid tempura! She's bite-sized! How can she scarf down more food than she weighs? Her metabolism must be a miracle of science! No! More importantly, who's gonna pay for this mountain of food? The only money in my wallet right now. It's too embarrassing to mention. You're not just poor, Soyin. You are the king of being poor. All that money in the game, and it's absolutely useless in real life. If only I could pay for things with it. Chilled ham pizza, Alfredo pasta, oh, and the tiramisu. Should we dine and dash? No, I won't start a life of crime over lunch. Ice cream and cheesecake. Okay, sir, if you would choose your form of payment. Before patrons get their food, they must pay in advance. No problem at all. No problem? I just agreed to eat here and I have no cash. Sorry. If that's not enough food, we can order more. You want to? More food? Oh, I couldn't. You see, I'm actually on a strict diet. My wallet's the one starving. I'm about to go bankrupt for one meal. What's a pool boy doing at a posh restaurant like this? You weren't expecting this young lady to foot the bill, were you, Soigen? Actually, weren't you going after Ray the other day? Looks like something changed your mind. Maybe her dad dying? Do I have to spell it out? Trash doesn't belong here. So why don't you give us your table? Apologize. What? I won't allow you to talk to my leader that way. Your leader? Soigen's in charge of our party in Gravebuster. And worth over a hundred million. So he's rich? <laughs> uh, only when I'm in the game. <laughs> now that is hilarious! The little girl's a comedic genius! Hate to break it to you, honey, but this guy's a liar. Look, whatever he told you is crap. He wants to swing you. It's not you. a lie! Oh, yeah? Prove it. Go right ahead and pay your bill using all those Shinro coins you claim to have. Huh? You can use Shinro coins in the game and real life? Sure. We accept that currency as well as several other forms of e-money at this establishment. But how? I'll just need to scan your sea bay, sir. Yeah, yeah, hurry up and get it over with. I want to prove this bastard's a con artist once and for all. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for your payment. It went through? You sure your scanner isn't broken? I don't believe it. I can literally pull money out of the game and use it? This has never happened. There are so many zeros, the PDT can't display the full amount. You're not worthy! <laughs> I told you so. Soigen's a billion player. A female student. Inside the guy's dorms. Adorable. Damn his luck! How do you manage to score such a kid? Oh, objection! This goes against the handbook! What's up, Soigen? Ray's missing and you got a new girlfriend? Didn't waste any time. Shut up! I'm going to save her whatever the cost. Doesn't change the fact you're a two-timer! You heartless bastard! This Ray people keep mentioning, were you and her dating? We weren't. She wasn't my girlfriend. Then what did you mean when you said you were going to save her? It's kind of a long story. And part of me thinks I shouldn't even tell you since sharing it could put you in harm's way. I can tell you this much, though. Ray is being held somewhere inside of Gravebuster. I meant what I said back there on the stairs. 
I'm going to find her and bring her home no matter what. That's the entire reason I was so grateful you joined my party, Farin. Enough, Soigen. Like you said, we're on the same team, which means we help one another. Now let's go save your not-girlfriend. <laughs> Logging into Gravebuster. I know this place, but why are there so many people around here? <laughs> Quit spacing! The festival's starting! The festival? Just try and keep up. Um, sure. Farin, was this always a stage? Sure doesn't look like one. After the enemies are defeated and the stage is cleared, it belongs to the players. Then they're able to fix up buildings and level them up, open shops and restaurants, or use them any way they see fit. In short, it becomes a spot for the players to commune. This festival, that guy on the phone, he said something about this the other day. Everyone in the world knows about it. You see, the festival was created to prepare for conquering stage zero. Defeating the stage is a huge event, and there's no limit on a player's level to join in, meaning anyone can participate. So you're going to see a mix out there. You've got your newbies who want to test their luck, and also several elite players. In addition, there'll be a good number of people who are just curious sightseers, wanting to catch a glimpse of what the mythical Stage Zero looks like. Stage Zero. If you want to beat that level, which I know you do, you'll need to go to the festival. Once there, you'll have to locate a player named Nishikaze. Nishikaze? And how am I supposed to find a player I've never met before? Oh, you'll know when the time comes. So in other words, the totems are gonna be close by. I don't know what your relationship is with that group, but I really hope I don't need to remind you how dangerous getting near them can be. I don't know my role in this either. The only thing that I can do is keep following the clues. And hope they lead me to wherever Rei is being held captive. I'm completely in the dark. Unsure how powerful their organization is, or even where they are. Why haven't you looked up information on the totems? Good question. I know. Since she's a guide for this world, she may be able to tell us something we don't know about their group. Master, it's been ages. How can I serve you? Tell me what you desire. Well, I guess my first impression of you wasn't too far off. You got the wrong idea, Farin! I swear! Twin Star's a powerful tomb beast! I hope you're not gonna demand too much out of me, Master. I'm still pretty exhausted. After what you put me through last time. You really love going out of your way to embarrass me, don't you? So, what are you going to command me to do? You perv! This is not the way it sounds! We're friends, that's it! Only friends? But I've grown so fond of calling you Master. For real, she's a guide the system gave me to navigate the game! Keep your breath! I'll be right with you. Your stomach's a bottomless pit in the game as well. Players are psychologically connected to the virtual world, so yeah, I love eating equally as much in this reality. Also, your lack of sensitivity earlier depleted my HP considerably. <laughs> Wouldn't let me talk, then you clocked me. What do you think that did to my health? Hey, waiter! I want to order! I'm starving here! Wait, all you want is two bowls of instant ramen? Look at all the delicious food you can choose from. You have no idea how vital the existence of instant ramen is to poor students. It's our source of power. What do you mean by poor? Actually, I don't know how much you have, but it's got to be somewhere in the range of... <coughs> Chew your food. You hear the news? Another billion player appeared. Be serious. Everyone knows there's only five in the entire world. You're behind the times, pal. Word on the street is there's a sixth wandering around the game. You know, I did hear about some new player taking on both Precious and the Totems. Yeah, and a number of higher-ranking players were also defeated. Crazy! <laughs> Wait, is that...? It is! Unbelievable! Huh? Am I missing something? Sounds like they figured it out. What's my next course of action? Stand up, admit it, get the whole affair over with? <laughs> Let's see! Wait up! Those guys are sprinting over in our direction like they just saw the world's greatest player or something. I hate being the center of attention. The lifestyle never suited my temperament. But I can't be helped. Come on. It's a natural reaction once people discover I'm the latest billion player. I'm gonna be the first. But I noticed before any of you. I can't keep it a secret any longer. Whatever it is they're excited about, they're working themselves into a frenzy. Farin, you should hear this from me before someone else tells hey, you. Hey, boo! You're in our way, dumbass. Quit blocking the exit. What do you want to tell me? 
there's absolutely nothing between me and Twinstar. Did I punch you in the head too hard? Look, over there! Sounds like something's happening outside. Is that a flock of flying penguins? I guess they're dropping prizes in honor of the festival. Pretty fancy. They look like rings. What do they do, though? They're transfer rings to stage 18. The final quest before you can proceed onward to stage zero. Apparently it's exclusive, which means first come, first serve. Then I hope I see some of you guys over on the other side. So then this was the reason behind the festivities. I hope the admins know what they're doing. Sure are a lot of participants for such a special event. The Godgrave Tech Company. I wonder what they're really up to. If the administrators are transferring that many players at once, it's probably not just a festival. You game? Could be a trap. Duh. If you're going, then I'll be right beside you. All right. Then here goes nothing. Everything is proceeding according to plan, Dark Tiger. All of the players are arriving via the transfer rings we provided them. Indeed. But like every stage before, there are still guards and a boss to contend with. I overheard they are forced to be reckoned with. How fortuitous we have a shield of pawns. After this level is cleared, the entrance to stage zero should open up. At first glance, it doesn't jump out at me as being dangerous. More importantly, I need to figure out how I'm going to locate Nishikaze among all these players. Uh, it's inconceivable the stage doesn't have any guards. You guys should go on ahead. I'll just hang back and keep an eye on things here. What's wrong? Here they come! I didn't expect the place to be crawling with this many Tomb Beast guards. How come there are so many enemies? I don't know, but if the players don't work together, no one will survive this battle. And it's only just begun. What an interesting assortment of items. I take it that's the portal to stage zero. But who are those two? If I had to guess, I'd say the one on the throne is Precious's leader, Dark Tiger. I didn't think he'd be here. Dark Tiger. I keep running into billion players. It won't do us any good to have our meat shields wiped out by the first wave. Speed things up. Whatever you wish shall be done, Dark Tiger. It's time we kick off the festivities in proper fashion. Steel activate! Stallion Saber! Centurion Buster! Whoa, what the hell's he doing? defeated all the monsters in a single blow. Is that Precious's power? It's insane. Bushida, it's time. Yes. Now that the weaker elements have been dispatched, he should awaken and the main event can finally begin. There's no more monsters to fight. Which means only the boss is left. And there's enough of us to clear the stage. No sweat. What the? That isn't good. <gasps> Why is it that color? Uh, this isn't a pool of red water. It's blood. Oh, God! Watch out! Something's swarming out of it! What the heck is that? I'm getting the feeling he's not on our side. Yeah, Stage 18's boss, Aslan! Where is it? The blood I earned to go upon. So jealous. Looks like a lot of fun. Think I'll join them. You know our orders. Boss told us to wait here, Nishikaze. Don't do anything you weren't instructed. I don't need you to remind me. But you know how much I detest waiting. I'll go introduce myself. Ah! Maximum power and bring them down! Magic Mirror, Magic Mirror, grant my wish. Tell me where the final tune guardian is. Look! The HP bar is replenishing! But he's missing an arm! How could it be filling up? That's unreal. This boss can use the pool of blood to regenerate any damage he receives. So you're so I can Riku. Uh, uh! Who are you? Get off him! 
Did she hurt you, Swigan? Yeah, she freaking hurt me. It appears our data was right. You are the player they call Soiken Riku. That's one hell of a warm welcome you got there. Do you greet everyone the same way or just me? Don't let your guard down, Soiken. This girl's stronger than she looks. Yeah. I have a message. Even though my boss clearly instructed me not to approach you, I'm not one for following orders. I imagine if you've come this far, you're dying to see her again. Evil mirror manifest. A mirror? Now what? It's Ray. You don't know how much I've missed you. <laughs> Ray, it's me, Soigen. If you hear me, give me a sign. Wherever you are, I'll rescue you. Are you close? Tell me where they're keeping you. If you're being held at the Totem's headquarters, I need you to tell me where it is, Ray. Behind you! Ray, please. Don't worry, I'll find you. I know it's taken me a while, but I will get you out. And when I find the person who put you there, they're gonna regret it. Please, just hang on a little bit longer. We're gonna get you back home no matter what it costs. Poor Maki must be worried after I disappeared so suddenly. I haven't contacted the school either, so I definitely fell behind in my classes. And then I still have to sort through all of my father's belongings. None of that matters right now. First, let's worry how to break you out, Ray. Wait, do you even see me or hear anything I'm saying? Please don't go, Ray. Come back! Soigen? Is that you, Soigen? I'm right here on the other side of the mirror, Ray. We're on our way to save you! <gasps> Enough sentimentality. I hope you enjoyed your brief reunion. So you know, my boss also said you're quite the exceptional player which I find hard to believe. It's time to see what you're made of. Bring her back! Soigen! I'm okay, Farin. I assume this girl's niche Kaze. She's the one the guy on the phone told me to find. What a relief I found you. Tell me what your group is after. Why won't you let Ray go? You're a quick study, Soigen. Yes, I am niche Kaze. I apologize for attacking you, but I needed to test the strength of your divine tomb item. Hey guys, where'd the boss go? Not a clue. Has anyone ever fought one so overpowered? Stay sharp. We may not get far with what we have equipped. Yeah, I got it. Huh? None of your blood is what I stake. We don't stand a chance against him. Retreat! Save yourself! <laughs> How pathetic. I have no interest in weaklings like you. Time to thin the herds. At least I can promise a show. With my summoning attack, your deaths will be spectacular. Slash Kai! Demons in the Sea of Blood, reveal yourselves! Guys, you see what I'm seeing? Those shapes. <gasps> There's something alive in the blood, swimming right beneath our feet. Don't just stand there. Move into Formation D. Uh, I saw this in a horror movie before. And how did it end? They were so busy looking down, they didn't notice the real threat was coming from above them. But that was a movie! What the hell is it? A blood-sucking freak! <laughs> These are my faithful servants, the Mosquito Legion. They'll bleed you dry. So if you want to live, I suggest you flee. Anyone unfortunate enough to get pierced by my minions will transform into a droplet of blood. Spheres of energy I absorb and then convert into bone. Now go, drain them for everything they're worth, so they may merge with me! Together we must protect the final tomb! Take a run for it! The damn festival was a trap! Pity, despite such a generous harvest, the blood I seek continues to elude me. Where is it? Hmm, someone's on that pillar. Their wave, it's so familiar. Then it is true. I've seen it for myself. That's Yuki Riku's wave. 
My boss sends a message. Since I've confirmed your buster item, proceed to stage zero as soon as possible. I'd love to, but I heard it was supposed to open five days from now. A rumor, nothing more. You can enter if you have the key. I can feel it waiting up ahead. The blood of the one I've long been searching for. I found you, Soy Ginyumiku. What's he talking about? What the hell is this? We finally meet. You don't realize how long I've waited for this moment. Wait, for me? I was supposed to follow you, to fulfill the mission. Those were the orders given, and I intend to complete them. You lost me. First off, this is yours. The key is built to activate in response to your blood loan. Use it to enter state zero, chosen one. Once you arrive, your long dormant memories of the stage will finally be reawakened. But in order for that to happen, you must undergo one final challenge. What the? present Aslan's ultimate form, Bloody Buddha. Up there! Those players are gunners! Look it! There's something inside the boss's stomach! Soig and Riku, tell me if you recognize this. I, uh, would have to guess that's the boss's weak point? In other words, you remove the core, you defeat Aslan. You are correct. Pretty sharp for a one-eyed girl. But there's more to it than that. Before his death, Yuki Riku ordered Pata Soigen's memories be contained and sealed in the talisman you see before you. <laughs> of course that stupid weird geezer did. Just take my identity and stick it inside of some blood freak. I'm sure that it also holds your origins. If it simply contained your memories, I think Yuki would have told you before he passed. Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe he did, but without them, I've been having a hard time remembering things. Sorry, Aslan. But it looks like I'm going to have to ask for those back. They sort of belong to me. Be careful. Raven Scarf, I activate you. Upon summoning this tomb item, seven different gems appear, and every one possesses a unique ability. They randomly shuffle when activated. I keep forgetting which color does what. So please, choose me a winner. Huh? This one. The time has come. Show me the equipment's power. If it was worth him becoming a tomb item! A player must be fighting the boss! Do they have a death wish or something? Can you tell if Swigan's alright? It's up to fate to decide whether he'll live or perish. You're more difficult to kill than the rest. Unleash armed skill. The Raven Blade! I can endlessly regenerate any damage you deal my body! What good do you think a sword will serve you? Sorry to tell you, but this is no ordinary sword. Ah! In addition to its razor sharpness, the Raven Blade allows me to triple my speed. Opponents don't even have time to react. He's going to use the blood droplets to regenerate. Then, before he does... Aslan, I want my memories! <laughs> Not good. This armor's tougher than I thought. The blade isn't enough to pierce it. If I'm going to win this, I gotta come up with a plan B and quick. <laughs> you immobilized me by damaging my limbs so I couldn't attack, then attempted to finish me off with a sword stab to the head. You must not understand, Soigen Riku. As long as I'm in the ocean of blood, I remain invincible. Down, slash, hack away as much as you wish. I'll heal and only become stronger! Interesting. Not only does it help you regenerate, you can use players' blood to gain limbs and increase your body size. Wait, 
Wait, does that mean that Aslan is literally made from our blood, sweat, and tears? Yes. What's the matter, Soigen? Too petrified to make the first move. Guess it's up to me. Seriously? And he can shoot orbs of plasma? Not only did his size increase, apparently so did his power. There's no comparison. He's way stronger than I am. Can I even win against him? No, I don't stand a chance. Your precious sword is out of commission. Thanks, Soigen. At this point in the match, it's too hard to damage him directly. I can hold on a while longer if he doesn't have any other tricks up his sleeve. Huh? What the? Is that some kind of halo? Think of it as a crown. An emblem of those selected by me. This symbol is the mark of my snow lotus. The flower will gradually wilt over the course of the next 80 seconds. During that time, I will gain control of all the blood flowing through your veins. Once the final petal has fallen, the curse is completed. The blood will burst forth from your body and you will die! Burst out of my body?! <laughs> However, despite the odds of success, there's one chance to release you from the curse. If you're able to steal my core in the next 80 seconds, it'll be lifted. If you win, you'll survive. But if you lose, your body will shatter, the same as your sword. In that case... No problem. That's plenty of time for me. 80 seconds is all I need to cut you down to size, Aslan. Why is that smoke pouring out of the sword? A defensive move? Whatever its purpose, the cloud is engulfing the players and the stage. It's becoming obvious the sword's true power isn't for slashing. Hey, what's up with the smoke screen? Is it just me, or do you feel like you're catching a second wind too? So you're a badass? Then stop wasting everyone's time and show us your ultimate move already. I'll oblige if you're that eager to die. What's he thinking? Doesn't he realize if he loses, the game permanently removes his assets? Seems confident. Maybe he's figured out something we haven't. Like maybe some way to defeat the boss and clear the stage. Very well. Since you desire to embrace death, I summon Bloody Hell Trenton Dragon! Upwards the serpent rises to the heavens, bringing about a storm that will seal your doom! The way that dragon's flying, swirling to the sky in a spiral pattern. Basically, operating the same as a tornado, which means the closer I get to the center, the calmer the storm. Ah! separated itself from Aslan. Valiant for no use! He's not gonna be able to do this alone! Whoever he is, we gotta help him out! Go! <laughs> Pack of scavenging grave robbers. <laughs> that ought to keep him from moving around. Let's get him! <laughs> Strike to your heart's content. The result will be the same. Or did you forget I can regenerate? Not that I need to bother. Now that the dragon's completely immersed in the sky, you're in for a treat. Experience the wrath of my final attack, weaklings. Crimson Dragon Blast! Yet, you still refuse to die. It's of no consequence. You've disappointed me, Soigen Riku. At this rate, how do you expect to become a Tomb Guardian? You were too strong. There's no way I could have defended against your attack. Ha! <laughs> you freely admit to your failure. Just telling you the truth. In a head-to-head -head fight between the two of us, you'd always emerge victorious. Your move, Aslan. Well, you still have time before your 80 seconds expires. I can't stand to see the sight of a defeated would-be Tomb Guardian any longer! Soigen! The battle is over. Three, two, one, zero. What have you done? Soigen Riku, what did you do to me? You lost. It's 
finished, Aslan. My body. Why is it refusing to regenerate? Hey, I told you I wasn't lying. I knew I couldn't beat you head on after what you did to my blade. But this weapon came from my Gramps' Raven Scarf. So, there had to be more to it than meets the eye. I didn't realize what until after you shattered it. Wait, are you saying the smoke it released somehow gave you the upper hand? That vapor isn't smoke. It's highly concentrated oxygen that boosted Soygen and the other player's stamina. I figured out if the source of Aslan's power is blood, then his body must be composed almost entirely out of iron. I can't say it wasn't risky injecting his body full of oxygen since it would increase his power for a short while, but eventually it'd react with the iron and make him rust. Lucky for me, when the blade broke, it released even more into the environment. The sword itself must be composed of oxygen if it spread so quickly and engulfed the battlefield. Right! My Gramps' divine tomb weapon, the Raven Blade. I don't believe you. To reach the point where I couldn't regenerate, every blood cell in me would need to be affected. A valid point. Even with the hit Soygen did manage to land on Aslan, it still wouldn't have been enough. I mean, what other explanation is there? There is none. It's impossible. Why? If his sword was truly responsible, I would have started rusting as soon as I was damaged. And that clearly wasn't the case. You're keeping something from me. Some additional ability used while I was distracted. Nothing too remarkable, I'm afraid. As you said, I could only apply minimal damage with my sword strikes. Most of the cuts were superficial anyway. You could repeatedly heal yourself from any slash I inflicted. And only your blood splatter would turn to rust. Then I remembered something important. You mentioned you regenerate using the blood you harvest from players. So I created an oxygen field. That way all the droplets would be filled with the element. The more you kept regenerating to increase your strength, the weaker you actually became. That doesn't explain why my body dissolved. I should have still retained my form! Remember using your plasma attack? That's what gave me the idea. If I could convince you to use a more powerful move, then the whole field would be covered in an electromagnetic wave, resulting in the oxygen undergoing a chemical reaction into ozone. The blood inside of you soon began breaking apart, and your body followed suit. So all that ozone? It resulted in a second chemical reaction, which depleted your blood of the necessary oxygen. You're talking about oxygen poisoning. Yep. That's the reason your cells broke apart and became only liquid. It's gonna prove difficult for you to regenerate for a while. In the meantime, could you give me a lesson on how to use this thing? Journey to state zero and you'll receive your answer. Whoever he is, he's awesome. He defeated Aslan single-handedly. There's no way he's not a billion player. Sure it's looks like we showed up late to the party, huh, fellas? You wouldn't believe us if we told you. You guys see what kind of masks they're wearing? I don't believe this. Silverback! He's incredible. That's so odd. I had no idea there would be this many players remaining in the stage. No way that guy isn't loaded. What do you think about joining up with our party? Yo, I'm pretty certain that he's the guy. How annoying. You hear them? Everyone can't stop talking about you, Soygen. Let them gossip. The only thing I'm focused on is restoring my sealed memories. Speaking of... Aslan, what happens to you once your core is taken? That doesn't matter. You won, I lost. My job as a guardian has come to an end. As for how to use the core, if you follow me to State Zero's entrance, all will become clear. Before I go, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Why hasn't another high-class player shown up yet? The only one who appeared was Dark Tiger, but besides him, not a single other major player participated. Don't you find that a little strange? The Mantis stalks the Cicada, unaware the Sparrow is behind it. This would be the perfect time for someone to steal my trophy. Very impressive. I was wondering when you'd notice. Ha! You're an observant one. It's not that higher ranking players aren't on the stage. It's just that you can't see them. For your sake, I'm glad you didn't spend a minute longer defeating me. Or the one lying helpless in a pile would have been you. Meaning? Whatever you're trying to say doesn't make very much sense. <laughs> Unless there's some elite player hiding elsewhere in the level. If my suspicions prove correct, there's only one place they could be. They're in another part of the level, busy killing each other. My thoughts exactly. The 10 million class players are logging off, one right after another. Wait, so the only reason they came here was to kill each other? How come they weren't interested in Aslan? Understand their motivation. The strong have confidence to spare. In their minds, Aslan was an enemy they could defeat any time they wanted. I see. <laughs> 
I bet they were busy fighting each other for a shot at the stage's boss. It probably wouldn't have mattered who won. I only know I was lucky to get the chance to challenge you before any of them got here. Or was this a trap set up by someone, Aslan? There must be more to this level. You have no idea! Where'd they come from? Look at their masks! As you've already deduced, they're far from lightweights, which meant I had to seek you out before they had a chance to fight me. If any of them had engaged me in combat before you, our meeting would have most likely never transpired. So basically, every high-class player on Stage 18 wants to get a piece of me. Guess we'll just have to cross that bridge after dealing with the core. We must hurry. Travel to State Zero. Then my mission will be complete. Shut whatever's left of your mouth! Oh. The hell kind of boss are you anyway? Letting this no-name loser demolish you! And you are? Address me as the Elder Baboon of Inbe. Hand over the core if you want to avoid a gruesome death. What? Are you sure? You certainly sound like a person to me, but if you want to be a monkey... Also, where's the rest of you? When you insult our leader, you insult us all! Silverbacks unite! This isn't good. Those are the infamous gang of thugs, the Silverbacks. <laughs> Who do you call it, thugs? We're a reputable organization, and don't you forget it! Let's give them a demonstration of our three tenets! Teamwork, strength, and effectiveness! Yeah! I can definitely confirm whoever they are, they're not good guys. And I'm going to have to ask you to remove your foot. Aslan can't breathe with you. You can have that ridiculous mask and wear it for all I care, brat. You think just because you defeated him, you're suddenly worth a damn? When I tell you who I am, you'll crumble under the prestige. You should do yourself a favor and grow a brain. Bow while you still can. You, on the other hand, honey pie, I recommend distancing yourself from this noob as soon as possible. You should join the Silverbacks. I could take special care of every part of you. <laughs> My ID is Ryuman. Feel free to contact me the moment you change your mind. Listen up, Skullheads! Proclaim our motto, loud and clear! These plebes obviously need educating on the rules of the game! Yes, sir! Silverbacks! You can't beat us, so you best log out! Silverbacks! Retaliate against society! Well, terrifying, aren't we? Now hand over the core already. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's raving morons like you. Farin, hold Aslan for me. <laughs> That's weird. You feel warm and look even redder than usual. <clears throat> Seems like I've got no choice. I have to fight you before I... <clears throat> A surprise attack? How cheap can you get? My bad. I was just a hair off. Cheater! That was way overpowered! You think? Tell you what, since you're so cute, how about I show you an even stronger one? No oh, way! Oh, you see that coin he's got? A one million Shinro coin! Think he's gonna spend all of it to enhance his items? Wow. Didn't know you could upgrade your weapons with money. Hey, you bankrupt bastard! Bankrupt? Why'd you say that? You think you're fooling anyone with your t-shirt and jeans? You're as broke as they come! The only reason you beat the boss was because you got lucky! Hope you enjoyed it while it lasted, since it's about to run out. You never laid eyes on one of these before? Consider it an honor. Only players with assets of a million or over can access these graphs. You mean the beam of light represents his assets? That's a real warrior. Based on its intimidating length, you can clearly make out my total assets reach beyond the five million mark. That's it? I don't know if I'd go bragging about it. Don't pretend like you've seen bigger. How about it, Silverbacks? Should we show this dumbass our asset graphs? Yeah! Silverbacks! You can't beat us, so you best log out! Silverbacks! thought they'd have so many million players in their party. And they aren't afraid to show it off. Huh? You think ours are big? Wait until you see our leader's assets. His exceed well over a hundred million. If you like doing this so much, mind if I try? Oh, by the way, how do you use an asset graph? This scrub doesn't even know how to access the graph? Do yourself a favor and hand over the fruit before you end up hurting yourself. Uh, asset graph up here? What the? How's it measure? It's stupidly long! Under thousand, a million, ten million, a hundred... Anyone still doubt he's a billion player? No wonder the dude was able to completely destroy the boss like it was nothing at all. You certain you want to take the core from me now? All this time, to think he was a billion player, 
Stop acting like this is some damn miracle! I don't know how the chief is gonna take this, though. Huh? Not good. <laughs> all right, I know we've all been having fun, but it's time to get serious. Evil Mirror, come to me. Amazing. <laughs> about whiplash so this is the entrance to stage zero we should be able to get in with no problem thanks to the key we got earlier you're the only one that can enter the stage the rest of us will have to wait here until you return is that a fact whatever lies just beyond the gate was meant for your eyes and your eyes alone so again got it i'll see you guys when i get back you won't go in alone <laughs> hold up you mean you can fly All right, here it goes. Some kind of white void without sound. What the weird, a feeling of nostalgia is washing over me. It's time, Soigen Riku. Consume my core. Your repressed memories of this place will return, and my mission will reach its conclusion. Well, bottoms up. <laughs> uh, what is this? <laughs> That's weird. The tree has a hole in it, Gramps. Yes, then the ceremony is nearly finished. What ceremony? I'm a little busy, so whatever the hell you need, just cut right to the chase. It's me, idiot. Or don't you recognize my voice? Ah! Please, please forgive my insubordination! I've got all the time in the world! How can I help? I just finished off this small fry. But maybe you could shed some light on a mystery. Seems someone already defeated the Guardian boss. So then, who's stolen my rightful victory away from me? What am I seeing? Are, are these my memories? Who's that girl in there, Gramps? Someone very special. The same extraordinary power that flows through both of us resides within this child as well. The poor girl's parents were murdered by him. Despite his efforts, even he cannot stop the ceremony. Her powers will be offered to this tomb. The process is nearly complete now. The only step remaining is for the tree to entirely absorb her essence. And in exchange, her power will then defend this tomb. Unfortunately, she must have no recollection of her former life. She'll grow up to be a normal girl, freed from the chaotic fate she was once doomed to. Hey! She fell down! Soigen! Hey, do you need some help? Who are you, boy? Oh, right. My name is Soigen. What should I call you? You have a name, right? Uh, huh? She fell asleep again. Grandpa, why is it that she can't stay awake? Poor girl has lost her strength from the ceremony. Will she be okay? There's nothing to worry about, Soigen. Actually, it's your turn next. My turn? I'm sorry I have to do this. Understand, I must take every precaution to ensure the enemy doesn't find you. As of now, you are no longer my grandson. Ah! Ah! What? Ugh. Aslan, did I really just see my memories? Correct. He was convinced it was the best way to keep you safe from danger. He saved your memories and information about State Zero within that fruit, waiting until your return. Powers residing deep within this ancient blood, hear me and heed my bidding. 
Using this fruit, protect the tomb from intruders. Arise, be born from a sea of blood. These are your orders from the 157th Grave Guardian leader, Yuki Riku. Arise, so I may bestow upon you a form and title. <sighs> Aslan, remember the following. Those two precious children are the single advantage that we have in this struggle. I task you with an important mission. Reawaken Soigen's memories when the time comes. Now do you see who you really are? Yeah, I'm remembering everything. Excellent. Then my mission has reached its conclusion. Aslan. I have one final gift for you. A gift? The entirety of my powers I transfer to you! What? He just won. Looks like every player that survived the battle is receiving prize money. Lucky me! Glad I showed up! I never thought I'd accumulate so many Shinro coins! Grave Buster is the best! <laughs> My Sibe just got a notification! Aslan was defeated! Which means Soigen should be coming back! A little early for celebrating. <laughs> Finishing off the boss in a stage too quickly can sometimes backfire on you. What the hell's going on? Well, you see, it turns out we're kinda no match for this player, boss. Really? I assume you didn't fail to mention my assets or connections with Precious? I don't think that would have changed anything. Spit it out! He's not like the others! This one's a billion player! What? Did you say a billion player? Please don't get emotional until I can confirm it, boss! Let me look into it more! No, I only want to know his location. Uh, well... Hurry it up! Right! Uh, his current location is on top of the temple at the transfer entrance for stage zero! Not for long. Hey, Elder, what do you think the boss has got in mind for him? I don't know, but man, is he pissed off. Speaking of piss, BRB. Ha! <laughs> like I ought to give a damn if he's a billion player or not. Rich, poor, my Artemis Knight treats everyone the same way. Map Cannon! How's it too early to celebrate? There are certain players who don't think highly of those who defeat a boss before them. Case in point. A powerful energy beam is headed right for us. Hey, you see that? Whatever it is, it's bright! Could it be a UFO? Or a shooting star? Victory fireworks? None of the above, I'm afraid. Looks to me like a super long-range wide-area sniper shot. Based on these readings, its power is immeasurable! <gasps> we won't be able to dodge it in time! <laughs> what a beautiful sight! It's not often you get to see the boss use his god-killing shot! Map Cannon's his ultimate special move that he can only activate if there's over a thousand players on a stage! The perfect solution for clearing the board of pests! <laughs> we let our guard down for a second! Both of you, stay back. <laughs> Damn! This is absolute madness! No way any of them are walking away! <laughs> are you alright? How'd you stop it? Looks like your wardrobe got a much-needed upgrade. Thanks. That's not the only thing I left with. A god-killing move had zero effect on this dude! But that's impossible! So, what did I miss? Are you sure you're not hurt? That wasn't some minor attack you should be able to brush off. I'm fine, Farin, thanks to this new equipment of mine. I'm guessing that stuff's your reward for defeating Aslan. Yep, the bloody armor. And apparently, having it fully loaded also raises my HP. When it goes into effect, my health increases until it's equal to the combined total of every player on the stage with me. What's still pretty amazing, though? That attack depleted it by nearly a fifth. Don't get too cocky. Most of the HP came from the one who fired the shot. <sighs> so glorious. What beautiful destruction! Who's calling me? Whatever it is, make it snappy. I'm enjoying my work. Huh? What? You're telling me my god-killing attack had no effect? An interesting turn of events! Very interesting! I'm headed your way right now! I can't remember the last time my heart was beating this fast in anticipation for a killing spree. What's your email? Everyone, you want to be my friend? I can't help but feel sorry for them. All the players here were simply pawns. The entire point of the battle was to use their numbers to lower their collective attack power, making it far easier to wipe out all the low-level players simultaneously. But anyway, now the festival's over. I think it's time you met my superior. All right, but first, I want to see Ray with your mirror. And I want to speak with her directly. Whatever. Lucky for you, I'm feeling generous. It's you! 
Do bear in mind. Withholding certain information from her may keep her safe. She doesn't know about the earlier battle or stage zero. <sighs> Sweden, you really came back for me. Of course, I'd never forget you. Ray, the whole situation is complicated, but I'll explain everything when we meet. I understand, and I look forward to hearing all about it when we see each other again. Soon, and that's a promise. Just a little while longer. A few days at most. Please believe me. Afterwards, everything will return to normal. I know. I believe in you. Do you remember how I waited for you exactly like this on the last day of Dungeon Century? I know you'll save me, same as before. I'll never let anything like this happen to you again. I swear that I'll protect you, Ray, and find who's responsible for killing your father. I'll be waiting right here for you. And look, I've got upgraded equipment now. Ray, see you soon. Sweden, wait! That's enough for now. <laughs> Stage Zero will officially open in five days' time. If all goes as planned, I'll hand you over to Soigen Riku. That is, if he manages to stay alive until then. I hate to tell you this, but you already know what I'm going to say. Yeah. It looks like I'm gonna have to defeat anyone who tries to conquer Stage Zero. Then we can agree due to circumstances, we share a common enemy. If it means saving Ray, then so be it. I'll do whatever needs to be done. I'll protect Stage Zero and Ray Riku. The preparations for my dominance over Stage Zero are now complete. Go and see that it is done. Dark Tiger, my lord, I do have one concern about this plan, and I'd be remiss not to address it. Mm. The player responsible for defeating Aslan was far stronger than we could have ever anticipated. Stronger? Are you trying to say someone besides that primate was able to clear the level? They engaged the boss faster than the Silverbacks. And now that the treasure was won by another player, their leader is seeking revenge. So he's gone rogue? Who does he think he is ignoring our guild's rules? Order him back! We won't permit him to... But Dark Tiger, sir... For quite a while, Rondon Gyoku's been desiring to earn a Lone Star title. That's right. Then I believe it's about time he finally achieved his due. Let's go. We're done here, and my boss wants to make your acquaintance. Me too. Right. Uh, what the? Where'd that explosion come from? Who the hell just fired into a crowd of people? Don't you have any manners? Look, someone's coming out of the smoke! <laughs> well, that was a reckless move. Whoever's responsible for stealing my quarry, Take a step forward. I want to look the thief in the eyes before I kill him. I'm gonna take a wild guess he's the leader of those silverback guys. Soigen Riku, don't delay. Let's go. You know, I think that I should let you in on a little secret. Huh? It's about Rey. She's on the other side. Then let's go. <laughs> Hurry up and reveal yourself. Otherwise, I might be forced to kill everyone until I find the guilty party. And you wouldn't want that, would you? Damn! That's one of the Echelon of Precious! He must be Rondon Gyoku! Crap! Everyone run! <laughs> Whoa! Is that a strengthening technique? I don't stand a chance. <laughs> Insane? If you don't know who you're looking for, what's the point of attacking every player? Don't you have any common sense? <laughs> what is this common sense? The only thing that makes sense is, if I'm having fun, it must be right! He's completely unhinged! The transfer gate has been opened, and I'm going to head back to the fortress. Are you coming, or do you plan on remaining here? Wake up! Did we journey to Sparta rescue Ray or fight with some lunatic? We can't wait around! Just like everyone else, the world's crawling with guys like you who are all bark and no bite. Now then, where's the pile of garbage that stole my victory and what will be left of them when I'm finished? Just ignore him. Let's get going. I won't 
will ever stop believing in you. I knew you would never turn your back. <gasps> Sorry. Please, hold on just a little longer, Ray. Predictable. He's like a moth drawn to a flame. <laughs> At this range, I really wouldn't be surprised if my attack murdered you in the game and real life. You have my condolences. survive this time. The bloody armor must have spared my life. Whoever this guy is, he's no joke. Isn't that player one of the totems? Stay out of the way. This is between me and him for what's rightfully mine. Hey, are you listening to me? What's your story? First you try killing us, then at the last minute you have a change of heart? His real name is Purple, codename Kitakaze. He's one of Totem's eight Imperial Guards. As you've already witnessed, he's an expert in the use of swords, but also... What do you think you're doing? Don't take another step closer to Soigen! <sighs> Are you... Healing. Oh, all the HP I lost from those two attacks is suddenly returning to me. That was a whole lot of damage. There aren't many ways in the game that allow you to replenish health, with the exceptions of medicinal herbs or grave beasts with healing skills. The third option is you're lucky enough to know one of the few people with the title Doctor like Purple. I heard when it comes to the rare titles like yours, not even a hundred players have managed to reach that level yet. <laughs> <laughs> to think I showed up just to defeat a lowly boss! And shocker, I find you all waiting instead! Life is full of surprises, isn't it? Now then, I have business with the boy, so if you'd kindly step aside! I'm more than enough to deal with you. You'll have to get through me. Some weakling from the totems? Not interested. Do you actually think you're worth even a second of my time? You move as fast as you talk. Well, if that's more your speed, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Just as boring as I expected! This freak show is keeping pace with me. Your dexterity is surprisingly low, my friend! And your strength is basically zero! How do you expect to damage me when you're both slow and weak? Huh? It increased. For some reason, his attacks are causing the number on my hand to gradually rise in value. I'll look forward to you actually doing something interesting. Armed move! Tempest Punisher! <laughs> what a major shockwave! He's got an array of destructive attacks, and avoiding them is difficult. Armed move! Tempest Arrow! Damn it! Looks like my number hasn't gone up at all. So whenever he makes contact with something dealing with me, like armor or a weapon, the digits increase. And when they reach a certain point, something bad probably happens. I sincerely hope it wasn't that cheap of a trick. But seeing how you're not able to even lay a finger on me, I'm afraid it'll just have to be a mystery forever, won't it? Huh? What are you doing here? The boss gave the order for me and Nanda to drop in and rescue you, sorry lad. And it appears we arrived in the nick of time. Well, looks like we've got an ice wizard joining in the battle. Pretty rare. Shoke, how about breaking apart that wall when you've got a minute? I don't know what the hell's going on, but I can't move! At last, I can finally enjoy a moment of peace and solitude. I suggest you two settle down and come enjoy a cup of relaxing tea with me. Who the hell are you anyway? Well, that won't do at all. Someone get over here and help my timing! Well, well. And we also have tree binding. A variety of summoning magic on display today. We're happy to show you more. Or you could be smart and give up. <laughs> me give up? 
Even among Precious's other elite members, my abilities are vastly superior. My assets total at 999,999,999. In other words, I'm a billion player in all but name. Are you positive you want to allow this, Dark Tiger? Not to speak out of turn, sir, but remember Rondon Yoku did attempt to steal your throne at one point. What do you say? Let's have some fun! Strengthening move! Satan! You can't be serious. There goes the peace and solitude out the door. What is this? He's more powerful than us, man. If you're really the sixth billion player, let's see if you're as deserving of the rank as I am! If you're really the sixth billion player, let's see if you're as deserving of the rank as I am! He grew! The things on his back are transforming! <laughs> How much stronger can he get? Armored move! The Rikudo Rine Cannon! This puppy shoots 666 shots in one minute! In short, aiming's not really a priority. Everyone, get behind me! Such an irrational display of force! My ice shield isn't going to hold out for that much longer! Hurry out of his range and find shelter! There's no safe place to run! What do we do? Oh, come on! At least put up a struggle! This is it! I'm sorry, but I've reached my limit! Halo skill! Penta sunk wood! Activate! Oh? So you're trying to soften the blow by surrounding yourself with Mother Nature, are you? I give you a 10 for effort. But I wonder how long it can withstand my barrage! <laughs> hey, we're not dead! If we wait here long enough, do you think there's a chance you'll eventually run out of bullets? No, the wall will not hold. But it did buy us a moment. Hey, Mr. Billion Player, if you got ideas, now's the time. Before we act, I need to know something. Considering this guy's assets, wouldn't he become a Billion Player if he defeated one more Grave Beast? I mean, what's holding him back? What an incredibly stupid question. I can provide an answer, but first, the name is Beck, and it's a pleasure to meet you, Soygen. You too, Beck. I appreciate it. Once your assets near a billion, they reach a cap. From then, you're unable to accrue more. It doesn't matter how much you strengthen your buster item, or how many beasts you defeat, your assets remain frozen under a billion. In total, there are ten players who are nearing or are currently at this critical point. Every one of them has the potential to ascend to the billion player status at any time. And included among this small group is Rondon Gyoku, one of Precious's senior members. He reached his own critical point during the first year of Gravebuster's closed testing. But despite everything he's tried, he can't reach a billion. In order to break past the asset limit, you have to earn a Lone Star Grade title. I see. Interesting. Then I must have obtained Lone Star at the same time I received my Seabay from Gramps. Can someone trade titles with another player? Not that I know of. A title is basically your occupation within the game. But Lone Star operates by different rules. Players typically receive their titles through a combination of experience and performance. In addition, you can achieve rarer classes by completing difficult side quests. In my case, I brewed over 10,000 healing potions, which earned me the title of Doctor. Nondead's title is Element Master, one of the 10 legendary levels. He had to master metal, wood, water, fire, and earth magic. An extremely difficult feat. There's a list you may consult to find how to earn a specific rank, but Lone Star is the only title without any information. <laughs> I should have had the Lone Star title long ago. Today it's mine! One year later, Dark Tiger. I'm getting tired of the silent treatment. Don't you think it's about time you told me how to obtain what I so rightfully deserve? Even after I ended up killing over a hundred high-level players, it didn't make any difference! So what? Maybe I've been going about it the wrong way! Perhaps I should kill a billion player with a Lone Star and then I'll take their title! Don't try and grow a brain now. You wouldn't last a single minute, monkey boy. Listen, I just want to know if there's room for advancement in this guild. What do you say, boss? Let's pretend I somehow got the opportunity to challenge one of the billion players. You wouldn't be cruel and stop me, right? Lone Star titles are unique. No two are the same. Furthermore, each has a tremendous corresponding power. Powers so influential they can break the rules of the game. They can subvert the game's rules? That makes sense. Like how the Collector can hold ten items. 
wonder. What does Grave Guardian let me do? Huh? Seems the enemy has ceased his firing. Who wants to take a peek outside? I'll find out what's going on. Don't do anything reckless out there. Hold on. Just a little longer, Shoke. I'll get these vines off of you. Boss's Rikado Rine cannon needs recharging. We gotta wait three minutes for it to cool down. Afterwards, it'll be able to shoot six times stronger. Hope they enjoy these next few minutes because they're gonna be their last. Even a billion player can't withstand the hellfire I'm about to rain down. You mean to tell us you don't even know what special abilities are associated with your title? I got the basics down, but it didn't exactly come with instructions. Fortunately, I've got a plan. What do you intend to do? Our enemy is rather unpredictable. Hey, unpredictable I can manage. I just need to see him with my own two eyes. That's your big plan? Raven Scarf, activate! I imagine Sligan is probably fighting about now. I wish I was by his side. I'm sorry I'm not there. Please don't lose. <laughs> your three minutes is up! Energy recharge is now complete! Oh, billion player, I hope you're ready for the final round! <laughs> First, I think I'll do away with this distraction! Stand in my way, little girl, and you'll get buried! His Gatling gun's more powerful than before! Everyone, stand back! And done! I mean, there won't be anything left of them after that, but in the end, that doesn't matter, does it? Since I've killed a billion player, the Lone Star title belongs to me! Ah, Chief's a legend! He totally obliterated that rich boy! Sorry, did you actually think you won? That'd be difficult, seeing how he didn't log out. What's this noise? That explains why I didn't see any game messages congratulating me. How do we dodge his attack? Yeah, good question. I admit I didn't see what you did back there, Soigen Riku. But I feel that you were responsible. Care to explain? I'd be happy to. The Raven Scarf can only select one jewel at a time. On this occasion, it chose the Purple Gem, which in turn allows me to strengthen one part of my body. Saturn. Now, all I have to do is look at you and your stats become visible to me. Saturn takes this information and then analyzes the data. Sure, but you can't save anyone just by strengthening your eyes, which means the jewel must have enhanced some additional aspect of you that relates to movement. If I had to guess, what was really strengthened was right at your feet, your shadow. That's right. Saturn uses the light reflected in my eyes to supply me with strategic knowledge, then makes my shadow explode, granting me the ability to travel in various directions simultaneously. You listening, you oversized freak? You can't win! <laughs> You just don't know when to give up. I expected nothing less from a billion player. But I'm Rondon Gyoku, one of Precious's VIP, so don't underestimate me either. See those bullets on the ground? Surprise! They're really bombs! Let's go out together! You've already lost. Why don't you accept defeat? There would be a lot more dignity in it. You idiot! What's the purpose of living if you're not willing to die fighting? If you enjoy combat that much, then I'll make you an offer you'll find difficult to turn down. So how about it? Care to go one-on-one -on -one with my boss, Temujin? Temujin? <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems to have gotten...